What's going on guys, Dr. Brute 7 signing in back with another tutorial video. This time it's going to be for our jailbroken PlayStation 3s. Now this particular video is going to make your lives a whole lot easier. As we know, our PlayStation 3s are only capable of detecting FAT32 storage format. And if we want to use XFAT or NTFS storage formats, there are workarounds. However, those are kind of like a hit or miss, at least for me. I tried Multiman, I tried using Webman both of them were kind of like working but not working at the same time very hectic and frustrating i'm pretty sure a whole lot of you guys have experienced the same or are experiencing the same so i had to look for a foolproof method so after thoroughly searching all over the internet and internet forums i managed to come across this particular homebrew app known as irisman which is on version 4.90 this is the latest version after installing this app i can guarantee you you're gonna have a seamless file transfer experience both with the ntfs and xfat file formats however i won't be able to guarantee how this app is going to work uh, if you're trying to connect an external hard drive because i don't have an extra external hard drive to test on this app the external hard drive that i have which is on ntfs file format has a whole lot of files i tried connecting it through irisman however it was not detecting but the good news is any storage devices with 32 gigabytes of 64 or 256 128 or 512 gb storage devices i'm pretty sure it's going to work given that you are going to follow this tutorial like how i'm going to show let's first start with the installation obviously for installing you're going to need a memory stick in fat32 format because you need to install the package file first prep xfat or ntfs does didn't work this is like an additional software which needs to be used with webman however it just worked i think twice and then it stopped working for me to make sure that you format your usb drives in fat32 format go to the link in the description it will take you to the download link of irisman full edition you're just gonna go ahead and download it first and connect your usb fat32 usb drives paste it onto the root of your fat32 usb drive connected to your ps3s i'm using a playstation 3 slim which comes with two usb ports make sure that one of the usb ports are free if both the usb ports are being used chances are the storage device is not going to work properly head over into package manager install package files standard from there just install it i already have it installed so i do not need to install it again after that you're good to go so this is the first screen that will show up if you keep on hitting the d-pad up is going to cycle between the menus all right hit on start it's going to bring this menu screen so hit x with tool selected and it's going to take you to this next screen so file manager this is where all the transferring takes place and if you want to install any pkg files from here this will only detect the fat32 storage devices all right let's head over into file manager if you check on the left side the very last is the ntfs drive so we're just gonna head over there so make sure that you have these folders created if not they're just gonna be all over the place games folder basically contains all the playstation 3 backups and ps2 isos basically contains the ps2 isos on the right side it's going to be something like this we're gonna select the dev hdd0 so this would be our destination location where we're gonna transfer all our backups for transferring of playstation 3 backups we're always going to select the games folder unless they are in iso format so if they're in iso format we're just gonna copy them here then eboot formats then we're just gonna copy it inside the games folder i already have one transferred so if you want to transfer playstation 2 backups this is where you're going to transfer them before transferring make sure that you select the directories otherwise it's going to transfer them in, in the wrong location so always select the destination directory and drive properly i actually moved all the games you just press on square to select the backup hit on triangle and just select copy and it's going to start the copying process make sure you do not select multiple files at once sometimes it might give you an error usually happens when you're trying to move the files so basically you're completely moving the file 
from the external storage into the in internal storage i would recommend moving them individually instead of all together sometimes you won't get any errors but sometimes you will while trying to copy as well you might run into that error it usually happens when both the usb ports are occupied if you want to exit out of it you're just gonna hit on circle a couple of times until you see this exit file manager okay so this is how you're going to connect your ntfs or xfat storage devices using irisman i'm pretty sure you're going to have a seamless experience because the other applications it's kind of like a hit or miss at least for me that's why i made this tutorial video specifically so that you guys don't have a frustrating experience like i did yeah that's it for this one if you want to stay tuned with similar contents and even more make sure to hit that subscribe button if you like my contents always make sure to hit that like button show some support that's going to go a long way and uh, yeah keep up with the support my current subscribers thank you so much for all the support i keep on posting handheld jailbreak guides unofficial port tutorial videos for the playstation vita almost covered all the switch homebrew applications unless they get removed by you know who you can find them on my channel stay tuned for more contents i'm gonna see you guys on the next one dr brute 7 signing off peace